Hello my friends and welcome to Steam Progress! Well guys, in this episode we are going to build the base again. We are going to do a basic sniper base. <clears throat> Let me reset this and because we lost quite a lot and uh, the last base was uh, quite a massive mistake if you want. I tried to, to make it for CPU defend but uh, obviously I didn't have enough structures and everything so... That being said... Let's build a sniper basic base. So we are going to start with uh, the tents, obviously. Nicely, nicely. And uh, I want to try to, to build a sniper base, but first of all, I'm going to leave the grunts in the tents. So uh, you can see how a grunt base could be. So, <clears throat> walls. Um, we need a very very simple choke point in this one very simple straight really close to the HQ uh, I'm looking off what else I can buy I can buy another tank trap fair enough that's uh, that's not too bad let's see where the end of the map is it's over there pretty nice so I'm s I'm going to start building exactly there so what I want to do is block the ways as good as possible with the, the walls that I have exactly like this and uh, put barbed wire in the middle, have the snipers, a perfect choke point only for snipers, I'm trying to get veteran snipers as well we see how this base does many of you asked me to, to build a base a level 30 to 45 uh, sniper base so this is the layout that uh, I prefer, like if you want. I think it's the simplest way to do it and it's really effective. Um, even more if you have loads of walls or fully upgraded walls or more tank traps or things like that. But I'm trying to make it as basic as possible. Nothing sneaky, no tricks, no exploits, nothing. I'm just going to block the way as nice as possible. So, if you are interested in um, in a basic sniper base, this is the perfect video for you. It's on my small account, Steam account. Nothing really fully upgraded. Nothing really, really, uh, I don't know, more than you guys would have. Because that would be the case on the other account. That's why I chose this one to, to build the base. So we see how it goes. I'm I'm trying to block the ways on uh, on both ways, <laughs> trying to block the paths. So every units that are coming, I want them to be in the middle, even if they are going to destroy the the walls. I want them to come to the same place. I want my units to be able to shoot, even if someone is actually managing to uh, to take the walls down. So let's rush the process and uh, I'm going to see you in a second.
So guys, the walls are kind of done, so uh, that would be kind of what uh, I'm looking for. I'm going to move the walls a little bit now and then, obviously after we test it. So now back in business, let's see what else we can do, let's see, I had to buy some, uh, some dynamite, run out of it, quite weird, on my other account I do have like, I don't know, a thousand or something. But basically what we are going to do here is um, testing the range of the, the snipers, let's see. We are on range 30, I'm going to rank up the snipers as well because we are going to use them, they will be our main units for this uh, new base. So we have uh, range 30, let's see what range this sniper tower, uh, sniper tower has and then we are going to kind of, uh, if you want, uh, set our choke point or our units to the perfect, perfect uh, distance from the choke point. This is one of the most important things when you are building your, a sniper base. You want your snipers to shoot exactly in a moment that uh, it's perfect for, for, for the choke point. So what I'm trying to say here is place them where do you want them to shoot. So for example, Let's say I'm placing my uh, sniper tower there and the sandbags just right beside them, beside the sniper tower. Um, my units will start shooting exactly in the position where the blue blue tiny magic ends. Do I want that? No, I don't. I want my I want the units to struggle a little bit more through the barbed wire if that's the case, and I want them to to come exactly where the rocks. Are, uh, are ending so that will be my main choke point I will be the only choke point that I have in this base anyway I have to buy another uh, pack of dynamite buy buy 80k munition fair enough the uh, things they, they have to be done so the sniper tower is having 29 uh, range I assume so my snipers they are going to shoot a little bit more than that so uh, we are in a great place. I want, I want. Uh, after the units struggled a lot through the barbed wire, probably most of them are going to to be in the same uh, at the same distance by uh, by then. And then I want my uh, my sniper towers to start shooting first, and then my snipers. Uh, probably not. That, that's that's no. That's not something accurate. I'm going to put the tank traps in front of the sniper tower, so I'm going to have kind of uh, uh, four snipers shooting first, plus the two sniper towers, which means six snipers shooting at first. So that will be the welcoming damage. So probably those six uh, six bullets are going to make. Well, at least to take the um, the riots down, if that's the case. And after that, I will have only the other units. When they move a little bit more forward, we are going to have the other uh, snipers, which they are going to kill them. Well, this is the dream. Uh, <laughs> this is the dream plan. It's not working always. Obviously, most of the players are going to get through my walls pretty easy. I'm telling you. So I have. Seven uh, barbed wire, which I think and I am almost sure by placing them exactly like that, I will have enough exactly until the choke point, which uh, is what I want. Let's put all of them down. We are trying to build the simplest um, sniper base that can ever be made. So Without any tricks, without any glitches or I don't know, exploits or whatever you want. This is the basic uh, <laughs> sniper base if you want. So I'm going to show you in the next episode if you want the defend history and uh, you'll see that the base is going to do good or bad. I'm not really sure. As I said, it's pretty easy to melt my walls. They're not fully upgraded. There are no any tr there are not tricks there to stop the units. So that being said, anyway, let's 
focus on the sandbags now we're going to use some mortars as well we are going to use all our um, AAs we are going to try to protect as good as possible the the units that we have I'm going to use a bigger sandbag because we do have to calculate how many units we are going to have so we basically don't really want our units to go forward that will be a waste of uh, force in our choke point so I will use one there that will be five plus three that's eight I'll have eight units there which is pretty good for uh, for my idea because I'm going to use the two tank traps in front which means four of my veterans no three of my uh, snipers will be on the tank traps uh, one veteran will be uh, with uh, the, the snipers and the rest of my veterans are going to be exactly where the the sandbags are so this is kind of the first choke point then I'm going to add some tank traps on the back of the the sniper towers I'm going to add uh, another sniper tower if is the case uh, I'm not sure anyway let's place the AAs uh, can I yes I can <sighs> I don't have to buy another pack pretty expensive those packs uh, but bear in mind after a while if you play a lot you are going to get loads of dynamite for free by just playing so uh, that's fair enough we have two AAs they're pretty decent it's not the best anyone can actually get uh, free specials and just kill all my units so what I'm trying to do is place another tank trap you can call it the second choke point if you want which is quite pointless because it's not really a second choke point but Bear in mind the, the range of the snipers while uh, let's say let's assume all my veterans are dying first that that's the way I think so I'm trying to tell you everything that I know guys so let's assume my veterans are dying there the next step of the units that what the other units are going to do is uh, trying to destroy the the bunkers well, once they stepped forward a little bit, no thank you wave 34 later, once they stepped forward, my other uh, snipers are going to be able to to shoot. So it's kind of a second choke point if you want. Let's uh, spend another 80k on uh, dynamite. <laughs> it, it, it's weird, it's weird. Anyway, uh, that being said, let's get uh, rid of that stump. Go! bye goodbye right so this is our kind of second choke point we're going to count how many units we can uh, have there as i said i'm going to bring another sniper tower just because i can and just because i want to raise the base power just a little bit i don't want the massive base power i want uh i want to be found in the attack list i want to be attacked by uh loads of players this is this is uh what I need to do well I can have another bunker there but I do have to get rid of that rock that rock is really important normally I'm going to do it I'm going to get rid of that rock doesn't matter but this is making uh, the attackers life easier without that rock they can easily get rid of the walls you, you just need two focus fire and one rally flag which is really common which is really common even more at this level now because i'm not level 20 anymore so i'm going to kind of risk it again just because i have a, a different idea there i have uh, i want to put i want to place two aas just uh, beside the the bunkers so i'm going to do it but what's the most important thing about this base obviously you have to think about your opponents your opponents are going to have focus fire your opponents are going to have decoys so what I'm trying to do is leave enough space there I'm going to move the wall in the middle of uh, the sandbags leave enough space just in case someone is managing to get uh, through the wall which is highly possible because of my walls and uh, we all know if you, if, if you know how to use two focus fire and one rally flag you will be fine going through my walls easy easy I, I, I have to say that so I know that but even if you go in a sneaky way this way uh, you are going to 
to get the same amount of bullets from my units. That, that's what I'm trying to do. Obviously, the best way of doing it, it would have been to have a uh, uh, another barbed wire, which we don't have now. I am. I might just change it from the first place there and uh, put it exactly in the middle of the walls. I'll show you in a second. So what I'm going to do here is move the the, the wall a little bit back, and uh, that will give at least two of the snipers there a chance to shoot that way. Um, you see, this is complicated. Uh, they they can actually shoot from there exactly how I expected when they will step forward to to get the bunkers uh, they will uh, get some bullets from my snipers I had to move the sandbag a little bit forward as I said it's it's a must and uh, has to be done I'm going to put that um, that AA there and that has to be upgraded in the future because it's not reaching the two main uh, sandbags but that's everything that I can do now as I said my base is not fully upgraded my base is not uh, the best so instead of one uh, I can actually add uh, an uh, AA just close to it anyway a mortar is really good for this level um, I think we'll we'll do some uh, some damage, which is exactly what I need. I have to make sure no one is going to get in. It is pretty easy, as I said, guys. From here, if you are building a sniper base, work your way. Try your best to to stop everyone with any tricks if necessary. I'm building this because uh, I think uh, I'm I'm pretty confident. If you don't have a focus fire, you are going to lose. I don't know why, but if you do have focus fire, then it's a 50-50 chance, but it's better than my base before. As I said, I have no sneaky sniper towers, I have no sneaky anything, it's just basic, it's my style, I'm going to use it and uh, I like it. I like it because uh, everyone can take on this base and have a good time, you know, if losing or winning. Uh, I'm not really sure about those walls there quite uh, it's no point so well it does stop uh, the attacker to get in anyway if someone is going to get in it will get in uh, somewhere in the middle here I assume is the best way that's what I would do so because we don't have more walls we're going to use them we're trying to make as hard as possible if you want uh, the way in here it is really important because uh, on the other side of the base it's quite complicated to kind of reach all the the walls plus I assume the bunker is going to stop the way in so that's 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 the main so mainly from what I saw from what I did everyone is going to try to get in exactly where I am moving the the wall now that's the best way Get rid of the walls without any rally flag, then place the rally flag exactly in the middle, then use the second uh, focus fire and you are, you are in, easily. But then again, it's kind of the same thing beside or except the, the barbed wire. So we are going to work on that later, it's not necessary. I'm going to build it as it is, I'm going to get to try to get some veterans in this episode. Well guys, I hope you enjoy it as well. If, uh, if you were wondering how to, to build this basic sniper base with nothing special, I think I have more barbed wire than, uh, than anyone at this level, or not anyone, but than most of the players at this level, because I did have uh, those packs, so uh, I think I got few barbed wire in them. Uh, so, um, yeah, but you don't really need the barbed wire all the way there. I don't have sneaky sniper tower somewhere in here, so uh, the barbed wire there is not really, really, really necessary. So I'm going to move the, the mortar. I want the mortar to shoot somewhere just, uh, just before. So the mortar is going to get rid of the grunts. Most of the people are go 
they are going to spawn grunts, so I want the grunts to be gone. I want this here to be kind of protected, or at least if anyone tries to be a little bit surprised. I don't want the barrel really close to the walls. That's a massive mistake, the walls are going to explode, you are doing the job for him. So I'm moving that exactly there. Even, even if someone is actually using one missile to destroy the barrels, uh, that's my job. That's, that's paying uh, me for the, for the barrels placed there because they will have less missiles to, to get rid of my units. So I'm going to move the tank traps a little bit further. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm changing, kind of changing my mind every single second. Because I do said I need two choke points, but uh, I'm trying to make one and strong, kind of two. As I said, when the units are stepping forward, you will have uh, this nice uh, snipers if you aren't waiting. Um, we do have to count how many... Anyway, I think I have uh, four tank traps. That's eight units. I have uh, another eight uh, from the two main sandbags, that's 16, 19 units will be fair enough even if a few of them are going to go forward. Let's have some fun here first, first of all let's have some fun, be after that we are going to, to do business. Let's see how many grunts are coming out of the base with two tents full of grunts and let's see what they do and I want to show you guys if you are against grunts. If you all intend to think, even me, that having loads of grunts it will be really hard for your opponent. That's true, it is true, but the, the massive amount of grunts are going to give you specials. Once you have specials, the fight is already won if you, want, if you have the right specials. So, let's see how many grunts are coming out. So far so good, I don't think any mis we have any mistakes, well we can, well we we are, we are, because uh, where the mortar is, that wall there is not good, the units will be able to shoot, but look at the amount of grunts, grunts versus grunts, I like it, I kind of like it, uh, I might leave the base like that, no <laughs> I'm joking, I'm really joking, but uh, it is amazing. It's actually amazing. Look, look, look how many, how many units can uh, constantly come out. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. If you can replace uh, the grunts with some other units that are stronger, would be <laughs> nice as well. No, that 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 won't happen. The two walls there, pointless. They have to be gone. But my grunts are actually doing a really good job. You can see they're poisoning everyone. They're doing loads of uh, loads, loads, loads of things. <laughs> they, they won't be really powerful against uh, the flamer which we have with us this time. So uh, I had my fun here. What I want to see if uh, if if they, my units can actually reach that mortar. If they do, I have to change a little bit the walls, and then. We will probably go to get some veterans, some sniper veterans, we don't have veterans at all. So this is the problem with uh, with having loads of grunts. You, you could see two specials there, just just perfect straight away, exactly what uh, someone will need. So they can uh, shoot the mortar, let's surrender, let's go back in, let's change those walls and then... Uh, we are going to see some fights if you want guys, it will be quite interesting, we are going to try to get some sniper veterans, I'm not trying my best to do that, I'm just going to get rank 1 or even rank 2. The units that I'm going to count on uh, this would be the sergeant, uh, commandos, I will accept commandos in my uh, squad, in my veteran squad, uh, snipers and probably riot. So this is the the units that would work with this base in my opinion. I am accepting the commandos because they will be triggered when someone is kind of shooting towards them and they will shoot from really far away. Uh, I would uh, really like to have rocketers but they are really dangerous against uh, my units. That's a no no if you want to build a sniper base. Leave the snipers do their job. 
at the machine gunner or I don't know commando I'm going to add the sergeant because uh, it will give them uh, more well it's not like they need more accuracy but anyway give them a damage boost which is always really good to have uh, once that's done probably they will they will manage to to kill the riots quite quickly let's change the HQ card because um, it's not as good I recycled the, the good one last time <laughs> unreal anyway I'm going to get the grenade launcher because we have loads of uh, barbed wire choke points and everything that will be the perfect uh, the perfect unit obviously they they will kind of uh, be in the corner struggling walking through and one grenade launcher can make the difference in the game let's see how my um, how my units are going to be placed where they are going and uh, if that uh, world change there would make a difference anyway now we don't have grunts coming out I still have the walls there they, they have to be gone no good at all let's see the barrels are pretty well placed not bad um, they can they can be a little bit annoying I have another two I say and I'm going to put them I'm going to spread them somewhere there it's pretty nice to have barrels it is annoying as well so on a base like this you could easily easily add a sneaky sniper tower on each um, each side easily 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 with a really good sniper tower a sniper tower that will actually if someone is not having let's say tactical boots well someone if someone doesn't have uh, tactical boots that sniper tower is going to kill at least 10 or 20 units and uh, this is pretty amazing sneaky sniper towers are really good I must say uh, as much as I don't agree with uh, something that is shooting towards units and units are not really reaching them a sneaky sniper tower will do the trick so I'm not going to add this I'm in case I'm going to lose a lot, I'm going to show you how to add the, the sneaky sniper towers. Exactly how I expected, the three snipers there, plus the, the sniper towers are going to shoot. Um, I don't know why, okay. I have to kind of move a little bit forward my uh, sniper tower on the back there, uh, plus the the tank trap just a little bit. So you can see they are shooting constantly. They didn't get hurt at all, but that's the perfect case and if someone doesn't have any uh, specials at all. That won't happen, but it's just a test, it's just to see exactly how, uh, how, uh, how good the difference is. So we have uh, the first battle now, let's move to the second battle. I'm going to show you a small way to get veterans, it's not a trick or something is the way I do it I'm having fun as well so I'm going to spawn only the four units at the last there I'm going to spawn uh, as many as I can they are the units that I need as veterans so this is my quickest way to get veterans the ones that I just don't need rank free I just need some veterans 10 units that are going to help me on this account only eight um, or seven hmm, not sure uh, that, that's, that's how I do it so I'm kind of doing a fest myself just for myself it's pretty fun sometimes can uh, can actually uh, be really really hard to win I like uh, those situations I like to get out of bad situations and win so well mostly I'm not getting veterans when that happens let's use pretty pretty nice uh, after the the walls are down hopefully all my units are going to go that way I just got some some sniper shoot so uh, as I said my main veteran in this situation would be the the sniper that's what I want I don't really I don't really care about others I really want snipers so 
Oh, this that will be a, a tragic event. That that's ah, oh, just just look at it. Just I. I ah, they won't. They actually won't get rid of that barrel. But when my units are exactly there, that barrel is going to explode. Look at this. Exactly. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point of having veterans? Anyway, um. We are going to get some veterans to replace the others, we do have a full squad now, it is helpful any veterans, even if you have grunts, uh, 10 grunts there, they are going to shoot a little bit, and on the sniper base you have the choke point, you are kind of protected, so let's get rid of as many units as we can, hopefully in the back there the snipers are going to do a brilliant job shooting from far away, we do have a rank 2 commando, which it will be really powerful against uh, against other units so i'm pretty happy to have uh, commandos i do need more snipers than commandos but this is fun so let's see how many okay okay i think we are fine now we have uh, it's kind of the perfect setup in my well not really the perfect it's one of the best setups um that i can get quick for this so, replace that, replace that, replace that, replace that, uh, uh, that one, and that one. So I have nine veterans. Okay. Um, let's see. Right, guys. Now, let's test the base again. We do have the snipers there. Uh, we are going to do it without cards. Not any cards at all. I will let the other opponents to... To test it on me if you want i will let them to do the <laughs> the, the cards and the special attacks but as i said let's see how the veterans are placed let's see if we well we are going to we, do, we don't really have any specials so it will be hard to get close to the the choke point but few of my units are going to do that so we see how the snipers are shooting we see how the veterans are reacting against uh, the unit and then if you think it's a good base as I said work your way out get the idea make it perfect because this is the easiest setup that you can uh, that you can get this is as I said the basic I'm going to call this episode uh, I don't know basic sniper tower no basic sniper base not tower <laughs> because you don't have really sniper uh, towers sneaky ones but easily you can add some uh, sneaky sniper towers if that's something that you want and it will probably give you more 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 victories by doing that so I, i'm just being honest with you this could work this could easily work uh, as a bombardier base if that's your type so my units are perfectly there i'm really i'm really really happy with the way they are aligned uh, you can see the the sergeant is giving power to most of the units there pretty nice if they uh, they will be triggered the um, uh, the commandos are going to be triggered from any bullets coming towards them doesn't matter if they are uh, the bullets are reaching the target or not so I'm going to use the decoy there so <laughs> as I said, that's the best uh, car to have. You can see the the really nice uh, grenade launcher did a lot of damage there. If the the grenade launcher is actually meeting the the units in that corner, it will get rid of few. It's exactly what you need because you are going to spawn the card quite quickly in a few seconds. So, what else do you want? Fair enough. So. You can see now, uh, the riots are going straight away, two bullets, they are gone, or three, I am not sure. Um, the... okay, 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 okay. So the bunkers there are kind of useless, they don't really manage to shoot at all. Uh, well, as I said, any bullets coming towards the, the my units, they are going to start shooting from really far away. I like that, it's really good. Uh, if someone is using grunts, grunts are spreading bullets. So we have the second choke point, as I expected, in the back there. If any of the buildings are, are 
uh, any of the the bunkers are gone I can see my units can actually shoot that way pretty well we are um, I didn't really change the the idea to put some uh, some barbed wire but I think that's that's one of the bases that um, it's kind of easy to build if you ask me it's not uh, really hard you don't really need resources you don't really need fully upgraded walls so guys I hope I helped you here let's surrender I think it's doing the trick for me I'm happy with that obviously you can move the units forward or backwards to suit yourself to suit your idea so that's uh that's all right let's move a little bit of the walls there we don't really need those walls there so i'm going to try to to get rid of them quite nicely okay the base power is only 2584 i like that um for my level it's pretty nice so i'm going to try to put more walls somewhere there because it will be harder for my uh, opponents to get through <laughs> well it's not <laughs> it's it's quite annoying to just think that uh, those walls are going to stop someone it's not going to happen guys it's not really going to happen so i'm trying to move a little bit forward that sandbag uh that's uh, that's good and this one uh, just a little bit forward I want my veterans to start shooting straight away and kind of making the two choke points uh, more <laughs> actually it's not working anyway leave it out as it is let's we do have quite a few munitions so I think it's time to upgrade some uh, some things I will probably I'm going to think to buy another AA. Let's see if we can. I think we can. It's not. Uh, where is it? Oh, up there. Uh, we do. We do. We are able to. So I am going to buy another one. Place it as I said at the beginning. Exactly there. It's going to protect just that uh, that small uh, tank trap. That's pretty okay. Uh, once we level up, we can get more of them. I'll uh, probably going to add them where the the walls are anyway work in progress let's upgrade the sniper tower to level 13 i was looking forward for that this is a new building it looks a little bit better let's try to upgrade that once as well uh, then we are going to kind of run out of munition anyway uh if this base works i'm going to work upgrading it anyway i have to upgrade everything in the game doesn't matter what uh, layout and setup I'm choosing <laughs> it's better to have fully upgraded uh, structures I'm going to upgrade a little bit the walls with my last munition I'm going to save uh, 12k there or uh, something like that yeah I'm going to save some munition because I do need uh, one or two packs I I'm out of, uh, <sighs> of tactical boots well guys I hope I helped you, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to share with your friends, it does help and I do really appreciate it if you can do that, I actually really appreciate it, it's the only way to uh, to let everyone know about the video and uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, please turn the notification on as well, you'll know when I upload next and guys, as always, I hope you're having a brilliant, brilliant day. I hope I helped and so long, my friends.